time for our next visual arts distance learning activity, and this is called Inkblot Art. So your challenge is to create an inkblot using one or more colors of paint. And then when the paint has dried, you're adding details to create a picture. The idea for this project came from something called the Rorschach test, which was a test that um, doctors could give to their patients so that they could help the patient understand some issues that might have been creating stress for the patient or might be in their subconscious mind that the patient wouldn't be able to just talk about it. They might need to have a more spontaneous way of expressing um, their concerns. And so the idea was you, the doctor would show the patient a series of different ink blots and whatever the patient was seeing in the ink blot um, might be a clue to what that patient might be worried about or stressed about. So that's, that's the background here. For this particular project, you're going to need um, a couple of basic supplies, um, paper. You're gonna need some paint if you don't have paint. There are some other supplies that you can use, um, and one option might be coffee. You might have coffee in your house. I'm just warning you that if you're using the coffee, it does stain, so you need to make sure that your parents um, are okay with you using it and that they're there supervising you as you're working. And then the last thing that you're gonna need are some drawing tools. So after the paint of your ink blot has dried, you're gonna go back to the ink blot and you're going to add details because you're gonna look at the ink blot and find a picture there. And you're gonna use your drawing tools to add details to your picture. Just um, a note about paper. So any paper works. The thicker the paper, the better because you're using a liquid medium on it. And you're going to want to fold your paper either hot dog or hamburger. Whichever way you choose, when you open it up and you put your paint on the paper, you are only putting the paint on one side because after you've put the paint down, you are going to fold the paper over, rub it, to transfer the ink to both sides. So you will have a line of symmetry down the middle of your ink blot image. When you're applying the paint, you can either um, very gently, and this might be something a parent helps you with, squeeze paint out of the bottle. Um, but you know in art class we often, we like to use art tools. So you could use a paintbrush to spread your paint. Just a note though, you're not painting a picture, what you're supposed to be doing is just spreading the paint in a way that is not deliberate. You're not trying to make a picture. It's just supposed to be shapes and maybe swirls of color because your job is after you get that down and you fold it and lifted, you need to find a picture in that blot of color. Here is an example of one of these. So you can see that you can use one color or you can use multiple colors. You can also see the line of symmetry going straight down the middle of the picture there. Here's an example of one of these finished ink blot art projects. So the black that you see was the original ink blot and then the person went in, it looks like maybe they used oil pastels to add the details to make something that looks like a monster's face. Here are some examples that I found from a wonderful website, the Eric Carl Museum website, which has lots of great art project ideas on it, including this one. If you are someone who um, does not have paint or you don't want to do this as a project indoors, your alternative is to go outside and do some cloud gazing. So one of my favorite things to do when I was growing up was to go out into my front lawn and just lay back in the grass and look up and watch the clouds floating across the sky and as they changed shape I would find pictures in the clouds. So that's an activity that you could do um, with your family. 
So if you decide to do this project, uh, please post your images on Twitter or send me an email so I can take a look at what you came up with. Can't wait to see your inkblot images.